very squeaky chair. We are rolling. Hello friends and welcome to another video. I, uh, it's been a while. It has been a while since I've made a video that is both a statement and the topic of today's video. So I had planned to make this on Friday and then I had some more setbacks. So I am shooting it today, which is Monday. <sighs> so why haven't I been making videos? Well, I... This has been a summer of both, or summer and fall at this point. I, uh, it has been a time of both mental and physical unwellness for me. Physically, I, I am planning to make a, another video addressing this in more general. I'm having some problems with digestion. I'll put it that way. They thought I had celiac. I don't have celiac. But there's clearly something that I eat that my body does not appreciate. So it's looking like um, my next step is some sort of elimination diet, which is very difficult, not just in general. No one likes doing an elimination diet, but I'm a vegetarian. I'm not vegan. There are like, you know, I do have more options than someone who is vegan would, but being vegetarian just takes a lot of things off the list where they're just like, oh, well, you know, avoid all these things, but you can still eat meat. Well, no, I can't. And if you're taking beans and grains off my list, what, what do I eat? So I've been through a little of that already this year and it's been very difficult, but I don't have celiac. So that's the physical, that's what's going on. Mental health wise, so, I haven't really talked about this much on the channel, but I think it's important to talk about. Uh, I have had mental health issues for pretty much my entire life. They run in my family, so a lot of a lot of it just seems normal to me because it's what I was raised in. It's what my parents are like. It's what my siblings are like, to different extents. But mental health issues to run in our family. Like you can trace it back to grandparents and great grandparents. Like it's all, it's all there. <laughs> um, so my diagnosis for a long time has been major depressive disorder with anxiety. And this, I wasn't able to treat it with medication because the medication didn't work properly for me. So the only treatment I had was therapy. Because of the whole pandemic situation, I actually haven't been in therapy since 2019. Um, but things were going okay. Like at the beginning of the whole, you know, lockdown and everything, I was so used to having an abnormal way of associating with the world that it didn't actually seem all that bad. Like I'm a loner. I stay to myself a lot anyway. It didn't seem all that different all that, uh, you know, troublesome. I was a little bit troubled by how okay I was with the situation. However, it has really worn down on me. And this summer, I kind of hit a crisis point with some of my mental health issues. And so I started seeing a new psychiatrist and I told her about the problems I'd had with antidepressants in the past and how they make me jittery and on edge. And I, it, yes, I'm in a better mood, but it feels weird. Like I, f it feels like I'm a little bit drunk or something. And she's like, well, what you're describing is a hypomanic episode. Um, you don't have depression, you have bipolar two disorder. That was a big, uh, oh, right. Because other family members do actually have been diagnosed with bipolar two. That makes sense. It's also one of those things that mental health professionals know that if antidepressants trigger mania, that it's a sign of bipolar. But a lot of your regular doctors don't. Like, I mean, my regular doctors have known this, have known my reaction to antidepressants. And no one has ever said, well, maybe it's not depression, maybe it's bipolar. So that is one half of the diagnosis. The, the other half, is that she is the first person to ever say to me 
it was it was just like almost in passing she said well once we get your mood disorder regulated with medication we can start treating your adhd i was like oh no that makes sense too but you know this i mean i'm 47 years old and this is the first time a doctor has ever put this out there as a diagnosis for me that you know that is my problem with focus that is my problem with organization you know and you know looking back I've always like when I was a kid I was bounced my leg constantly I still do I still fidget constantly growing up in the 80s and 90s people say now that every oh everyone's too medicated we weren't medicated at all unless you were had a serious serious problem like you had discipline disorder like you were you know you were setting fires or like you know starting fights or you had a serious problem like you know you couldn't speak or something like that that case then you would have some sort of special education services but in general if you were figuring out if you were muddling through they were just like you're fine you you're fine uh we were not fine <laughs> so like like just speaking for Gen X here, we were not fine. We're still not fine. And um, yeah, so, you know, I was in the honor society in high school, but I did that with like a B average. I was like at the bottom rung <laughs> because it was a struggle for me. Like everything was a struggle for me. I wait until the last second to do anything. So that's one of the reasons I haven't done videos is just I haven't prioritized them. The other thing is, is that, like I said, I kind of hit a crisis this summer and I only had enough energy to expend towards certain things. And for practical reasons, the thing I needed to put my focus into is my paying job. I do web design, I have clients that are depending on me, and I have been apologizing to them because my work for them did suffer, is still suffering, but what energy I had was given to that. And the thing about bipolar is that sometimes you're up and sometimes you're down and sometimes you're both at the same time. There's this thing called mixed states. And in August and September, I was doing pretty good with this channel. I was making videos, or at least the beginning of September. I had a plan together. I had like through the end of the year, I was going to make two videos a week and I had them all planned out about what, what I was going to do. And then I just didn't. Um, as you probably saw, I made a couple lives because I was just like, okay, well, I didn't do the thing on my plan. I guess I'll do a live. And they went okay, but I didn't want to keep doing those. So yeah, here we are. So just in general, I don't, you know, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not capable right now of doing that two video a week plan. I might with serious effort to be able to do a one video a week plan. Although honestly, if I do two a month, that will be a personal triumph for me because I haven't done any in two months now. So that's going to be a triumph for me. Right now, I am uh, I am weaning myself off the third medication that my psychiatrist has tried. And um, at the end of the week, we'll be trying a fourth because they are all causing some serious physical side effects. Either they are keeping me kind of just groggy all day with like my speech would be slurred and it was just I couldn't exist like that or the one that I'm weaning off of right now is causing my blood pressure to spike it's like to really scary levels of like just really scary levels so yeah it's a challenge I have weird reactions to medication so it is a challenge so that's like my personal story and I did want to say to give a little, a little something to this that's not just me talking to you about my medical problems. I did want to say from a witchcraft standpoint about getting a proper diagnosis and how important that is. Because I know a lot of people, there's a fear that, well, I just won't I won't get diagnosed and then I don't have to deal with what's going on. And from a basic human standpoint, you're dealing anyway, you know, I mean, you're dealing anyway with the problem and all that from a mundane standpoint, all that's happening is getting diagnosed means that someone's helping you deal with it. 
you're, you know, you you have some support now. But from a witchcraft standpoint, there's this idea that names have power and finding the true name for something gives you control over it. And for a long time, I've been calling my mental illness depression and I haven't had control over it. Now I have a different name for it. Now I have this name of bipolar two to look at my mental illness and be able to see it in this light. And that helps both from a mundane standpoint that there's different ways, both with medicine and with therapy techniques, there's different ways of dealing with depression and bipolar too. And, but also from a witchcraft standpoint, I know its name, you know, I can, I can look at it and say, I name you and I can have some sort of control. Like it's not controlling me, I'm controlling it. So that is where I am. And I just wanted to give you that, that if anyone is also uh, dealing with uh, either mental or physical health issues that you are afraid to get diagnosed because, oh, what's gonna happen then? Then it's real, it's already real and you know, talking to someone and getting a name for it will allow you to have that level of control. So thank you to those who sat through this little video of mine. Thank you for my cat, Logan, who has been at my feet being a perfect gentleman this whole time. And um, yeah, so uh, maybe I will do a little tour of them in my uh, in my shrine room right now. Oh, I think I've shot videos here before but I've recently cleared it out and spruced things up. And as you can see, one of my altars here above me. Maybe I'll do a little a little house tour and show you some of my, my witchy things. I think that would be a fun and kind of a, a low key video for me to make. I am working on more heavily researched videos, but they take a lot of time because I have to research and I need to write a script and I need to do all the things. And all of those things are really stumbling blocks right now with um, pretty much with the ADHD portion, but also with the, the bipolar of manic me makes promises that <clears throat> depressed me cannot follow through on. I think I've ranted long enough. Thank you all so much for sticking with me and um, for subscribing to my channel and for leaving me comments and interacting. Um, it means a lot to me to know that you guys are out there and you're there with me. So thank you so much and I will see you soon.